DAT, or Dyslexia Dyspraxia Attention Deficit Treatment Centers, was founded in the UK by Winford Dorr after his daughter was diagnosed with dyslexia. What prompted me to do this was the desperate state my daughter Susie had got into. She'd gone right through school without learning very much. She, at the end of school, she still couldn't read much. She couldn't write much. She was so depressed. So I had to find a solution. Dorr's personal passion led to extensive, privately funded research, which resulted in the public opening of DDAT. And that was a thrilling moment when the medical researchers came to me and said, we are convinced that we can take away many of these symptoms without resorting to drugs. At first we thought, this is too good to be true, because surely if that was really the case, someone else would have done it before us. After substantial success in the UK, DDAT quickly expanded in the UK and Australia, and in late 2002 opened in the United States as DOOR Achievement Centers. What makes the DOOR program so effective is the unique approach. DOOR Achievement Centers believes in focusing on the problem, not its symptoms. Consequently, medications are not part of the treatment. The DOOR method is based upon the fact that the brain is changeable, a quality known as neuroplasticity, and focuses directly on the cerebellum. Though it only occupies 10% of the brain's total volume, the cerebellum contains approximately 50% of the brain's nerve cells. Collective research indicates that the cerebellum plays a vital role in complex thinking, emotional well-being, and balance, and that an under-functioning cerebellum, or cerebellar developmental delay, may likely be the very cause of learning difficulties. Dr. Roy Rutherford is the lead researcher for Door Achievement Centers. The evidence is there, it's just been ignored, uh, unfortunately. But it's only now that, 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 that scientists and neuroscientists are actually starting to, to accept that the cerebellum has a far greater role than, than was traditionally thought of. One of the things that I have been very impressed with is that it is almost more common uh, than not for me to see multiple diagnoses for one individual in the areas of dyslexia, attention, problems such as ADD, um, and coordination difficulties. In many ways, that is no surprise to us at DOOR um, because we're focused on the cerebellum and there is a worldwide body of research that supports the fact that the cerebellum is intricately involved in coordination, that it is involved in attention and our ability to focus, that it is involved with language, reading, uh, words, learning. It's not unusual for the cerebellum to remain underdeveloped in spite of a fully developed cerebrum or thinking brain. In fact, many people with learning and attention difficulties are quite intelligent. Some famous examples include Leonardo da Vinci, Albert Einstein, Winston Churchill, and Charles Schwab. The cerebellum has half of all the brain cells of the entire nervous system. 90% of the input to the cerebellum is entirely sensory. It's nothing to do with motor uh, information. And, and much of the input it comes from the thinking brain. The DOOR method uses individually prescribed exercise techniques to stimulate the cerebellum to build correct neural pathways so the entire brain can begin to process information quickly and accurately. These neural pathways together form an information superhighway, which is actually a feedback loop, feeding messages out from the cerebrum to the cerebellum and feeding processed data back from the cerebellum to the cerebrum. What they will find is, rather than practicing and never improving, which is what's been happening before and what creates this great negativity in people with learning difficulties, is they, they now improve and by putting greater effort into developing skills, they very quickly catch up and this is precisely what we see in our research. In those with a learning difficulty, it takes an awful long time before any given process becomes automatic. What we do is just make it easier and quicker for processes to become automatic. 